Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to record Minecraft with absolutely no lag. For this we're going to be using OBS, which is a completely free recording program, and we're going to be using Optifine to reduce lag while we're recording. One thing I will also mention here is that you are going to need a modern PC with at least 8GB of RAM and a decent processor, at least an Intel 4690, which isn't the best out there. It's actually really, really old at this point, but that's specs and that hardware will allow you to record Minecraft with minimal lag using these settings. This may make some of you a bit sad, it might not be what you were looking for, and I'm sorry about that, but you do need an okay computer to be able to record. Now with that being said, if you don't know what specs your computer has, just give this a shot. It doesn't hurt to give it a try and see if you can record using these settings, even if it is at a lower render distance or something like that. Making a video is where it starts. You gotta do something. I started making content on a horrible horrible computer where literally it was like frame by frame in many ways but it got me to where i am today it took a long time to get there but you got to get started somewhere so give it a shot even if you don't meet those requirements but if you meet those requirements it's going to be absolutely incredible nevertheless this video is sponsored by apex minecraft hosting if you go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex you get an awesome 24 hour ddos protected minecraft server for just a few bucks a month we love apex minecraft hosting so much we host our own network minecraft Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check them out at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started here. And to do that, you need to go to the second link down below, and that will take you here to OBS Studio. Once you're here, we want to click on the Windows download for OBS Studio. Right there it is, and it will download in the bottom left down here. Once this is downloaded, we can minimize our browser here and it will be on our desktop. If this isn't on your desktop, no worries, don't freak out about it. All we need to do is click on the Windows icon on the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that Windows icon and then type in Downloads exactly like that. You'll have a Downloads folder here. Click on that and then drag OBS Studio from your Downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once it's here, go ahead and double click on OBS Studio and then this installs just like any other program. Go ahead and click Next here and then go ahead and click I Agree. Click Next and then click install. Now it will go through and install OBS just like any other program. Again, this is a 100% free recording program, so that is absolutely incredible. There we go, we are now done. As long as we have launch OBS, click there. As long as that little check mark is there, we can go ahead and click finish, and it will open up OBS automatically. If it doesn't, go ahead and double click on the OBS icon and create it on your desktop. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and click OK on this license agreement, assuming you agree to it, we do. And once you're here, auto configuration. Would you like to run the the auto configuration wizard. You can also manually configure your settings by clicking settings button in the main window. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and run the configuration wizard. So let's click yes. Optimizing for streaming, recording is secondary, or optimize just for recording, I will not be streaming. In this case, we're going to be optimizing for recording. So do that and then click next. Then we can go ahead and see base canvas resolution. This is going to be what we want to put out to OBS and how much we want to put out to OBS. And in our case, I would recommend a 1920 by 1080 video. That is going to be a 1080p video. That's what most people upload to YouTube on. That's what you're watching this video in is 1080p. FPS either 60 or 30 but prefer 60 when possible. That's what we want to do there. That is that. Now click next on that and then you want to go ahead and click on apply settings and it'll go ahead and apply that. Now once you've done that we need to go ahead and get this recording for Minecraft. So to do that we need to open up Minecraft. I'll see you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are in the Minecraft main menu. We can drag this over here and drag OBS to the other side of our screen. You can also open them over under each other, but luckily my monitor is big enough here to have Minecraft in 1080p and OBS open over here. Nevertheless, what we want to go ahead and do is down here on sources, right? See this where it says sources? Click on the plus button there and then go ahead down to game capture. See that same game capture? Click on that and then we want to go ahead and create a new game capture. We're going to entitle this Minecraft and then click OK. Then it's going to open this up right here and then we want to capture any full screen application. Capture a specific window. For example, if you click capture a specific window, we can then select Java right there, which as you can see is Minecraft 1.13.2. Going to click on that and then click on OK. And boom, just like that, Minecraft opens up in the background. You now have a Minecraft recording, right? We can go ahead and click start recording down here in the bottom right and it will begin recording. But before we do that, we need to go over here and actually add in face cam. Now, I've already got face cam on the video, so it's not going to work. But if you wanted to do that, you can click on a plus here and then you want to go to a media source. 
video capture device right here and then you would select after you click OK your face cam as your video capture device. You'll need a webcam to do this. I recommend the Logitech C920 which is linked in the description down below. Nevertheless I'm not going to add that in here because well I'm already using it and you can see me in the bottom of the screen down here. Hello how are you doing? I am down there and not going to be on the OBS recording. Now at this point we can go down here and actually click start recording and it will start recording. As you can see this is everything's going. It is recording right down here. Four, five, three, two, one, all of that stuff. It shouldn't be counting down. It should be counting up and ours is. But we can go ahead and click stop recording. You might be asking where did that go? Well, that's pretty simple. We can go up here and click on file and then click on settings and see where our recordings are going by clicking on output right here. And then we can see that the recording path is Windows folders slash videos. If we just click browse on that, we'll be able to see it's just dropping right into our videos folder here. So let me go check that. Let's just double check it and make sure it's correct. Right here is our videos folder. And of course, there is that file there. Now, there's one thing you'll notice. That is an FLV file. And I don't know about you, but I don't like FLV files. And so what I would recommend doing is actually clicking on the settings button right over here. See that's under the recording button. Click on settings there. Go to output and then change our recording format down here from FLV to MP4. Now, it's going to say recording saved as MP4 would be unrecoverable if they cannot be finalized. Well, that is OK. Go ahead and click apply there and then click OK. That just means that if your power was to shut off, unfortunately, video's done. You've lost that video. That happens though, and that's part of being a content creator. I've lost hundreds of videos over the years. But nevertheless, with that, we are now kind of set up to record. We can also go into file and then settings here. And then we can also do our audio if we click on audio. And you can double check all of these settings. Most likely, they'll be left default. The only thing you want to do is your auxiliary mic. It's a mic slash auxiliary audio device. This is going to be your microphone. So go ahead and click on that. Make sure your microphone is selected there. Whichever one you want. I'm just going to leave that as default because I don't want to pull my mic from my other recording program that I'm using to record OBS with. But now we go ahead and click OK there. We can start recording and it will record an MP4 file. Right there it is. Go ahead and let that record for a second. We can now stop that file and then click on it and it will play. Now for me it's playing audio, for you it's not because again that would be annoying. But Another quick example would be if we go ahead and start the recording here and then join in on multiplayer and then join into the best server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. If you're looking to make content on a survival server in a survival environment, I suggest play.breakdowncraft.com. We got the best 1.13.2 survival in the multiverse, everybody. You will absolutely love it. I mean, look at this spot, right? That's incredible. Full 1.13.2 survival, completely grief protected, and minus a little bit of teleportation lag there, completely lag free. I mean, if we do a lag check right now, slash lag check, we'll be able to see that we are running at 19.7 TPS, and there's also 51 people online. So there's people to play with. It's awesome. Come play this. Play.breakdowncraft.com. But I did all of that to then stop the recording over here, and we can watch that back to show us that we are, in fact, doing things in-game. See that? There it all is happening in game there. Boom, boom, boom. Absolutely incredible. Nevertheless, guys, that is how you can record. But what if you have lag issues while recording? Well, to do that, we need to go ahead and actually we can leave OBS open. I'm just going to minimize it though. But we can close out of Minecraft. Then we can delete this OBS Studio file we downloaded. We'll still need the OBS Studio shortcut over here. But for now, I'm going to drag that down kind of to the bottom left of our screen down there. Now, to get this going, we need to go back to the description down below and then go to Optifine, which you'll see right down there. There's an Optifine link, and that Optifine link will take you here. This is actually our video on how to install Optifine, but I'm going to do it here just for ease of use for you. So let's go ahead and click on the Download Optifine button here. I'm going to take us off to Optifine.net, where we want to find Optifine 1.13.2, or for whatever version of Minecraft you're recording, go ahead and click on Mirror here. It will then take us off to this page, where we then want to click on the Download Optifine 1.13.2 jar link. See? Just click on Optifine right there, and it will download on the bottom left. We will need to keep this file. Optifine has been downloaded by hundreds of millions of people. If it brings a pop-up like this up, just go ahead and close out of it. No reason for that. But nevertheless, we now have Optifine downloaded. We can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop is Optifine. If it's not on your desktop, it's in that downloads folder that we accessed earlier with OBS. Go ahead and right-click on this, and then click on Open With. Then you should have a Java Platform SE binary, and click OK. If you don't have Java Platform SE binary, no worries. There their link is in the description down below. One for Java. This is the first thing you want to do. Go and install the Java SDK because while you don't have Java on your computer, you probably don't have the Java SDK, which is required to run Optifine. Come here, go through this tutorial, get it downloaded, get it installed, and then you'll be good to go. If you still can't open up the Optifine file, you need the jar fix. So go ahead, 
come to this link. It's in the description down below. On using the jar fix, this shows you everything you need to know. You can download it and run it from right here. Download it, run it, and you're done. But this tutorial does walk you through it. Nevertheless, after that, you'll finally be able to open up Optifine with Java and you will be able to get this installer. Once you're here, go ahead and click on install, that install button right there, and you'll see Optifine is successfully installed. Click OK. That'll close out of itself. And we can drag this down here. After we've opened and closed Minecraft, we'll be able to delete Optifine. Speaking of, let's go ahead and do that. We want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, but this time in the Minecraft launcher, we want to be careful here because if we go ahead and just click on play, it won't work. What we need to do is click on the little green arrow next to the play button here and select Optifine. I'm actually going to click on the three lines up here, come over here to launch options, and then you'll be able to see the Optifine profile here. Click on that if you want to change your resolution, which is what I'm doing right now, so you'll be able to see it once we get in the game. Also, by making Optifine 1920 by 1080, that will allow us to record it at the native resolution that we set in OBS. So let's go ahead and click Save there, and then we can come back over here to News. Again, make sure the Optifine profile is selected by clicking the little green arrow next to the Play button, clicking on Optifine, and clicking on Play. Now, Optifine will open up, but just installing Optifine doesn't really help us. We need to set it up and use the Optifine settings to make Minecraft less laggy. So to do that, give me one second, I'll meet you on the Minecraft, oh, we're on the Minecraft main menu, and once you're here, you wanna go ahead and click on Options, and then you wanna click on Video Settings. This is everything that Minecraft changes. Now, I'm not gonna tell you to turn everything down all the way. There are a few select things that can help very, very, very quickly when it comes to recording Minecraft. First and foremost, change your render distance down to normal, which is eight. Right? Now you could go shorter if you need to, but eight is where I would start. If you're still getting lag while recording with an eight render distance, go ahead and turn it down. Graphics, go ahead and turn those to fast and smooth lighting, go ahead and turn that to off. If you have a okay computer, you can turn that to minimum, but I would recommend off. Maximum frame rate, go ahead and leave that unlimited. Smooth lighting, go ahead and turn that off. And then use VBOs needs to be on. GUI scale doesn't matter. Dynamic lights need to be off. Shaders need to be off, which is fine. We can't even enable them, that's okay. Now for quality, in here, I'm not gonna tell you to turn everything down, but you could turn mini map levels, or MIP map levels, I'm sorry, down to you know the first setting here, which is not off, it's the, the one after off. It's like, I think, fast is what it is, let's see. It is one, there we go. MIP map level will just near us there. Anthroscopic filtering off and anti-aliasing off. You can turn the rest of this off if you would like. You can also mess around with it. Let's say you want better grass, you can turn that to fast instead of off. For example, something I absolutely love, Mine Optifine 4 is connected textures. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on connected textures simply because I absolutely love it. You can even turn that to fancy maybe. Maybe you can run that. Your computer is going to be different. But I would recommend turning everything here to fast and then scaling it up on a normal eight render distance. For details, you wanna go in here and turn all of these off or on fast. Again, just until you can see what's up and then you can turn them up if you're not lagging while recording. For performance here, you wanna leave smooth FPS off. That way that allows some FPS fluctuation. That way there's no big lag jerks, right? If you have lag jerks, turn off FPS smoothing. Smooth World, go ahead and turn that off. And then for fast rendering, you want to turn that on. Fast math, turn that on. Chunk updates need to be left at one. Dynamic updates need to be on. Lazy chunk loading, all of the rest of that needs to be on. For animations, go ahead and click on all off. I would recommend doing this no matter what, even if you have an awesome PC. I always run with no particles. That's the best thing to do, especially if you're on a server. Go ahead and click done there. Click on other right here. And then we can go ahead and make sure sure FPS is on just for the status of this video. And then auto save and all that stuff can be configured. But, uh, Basically, all of this needs to be just as you see it on your screen. Then go ahead and click done, click done again, click done again, and then we can launch into play.breakdowncraft.com. And on a server, your FPS is going to be a little lower than single player usually because you're lying on the server a bit and as good as servers are and as good as our hardware is at Apex, there is going to still be some lag just because of connection. You have to get stuff from our server to you, so you're gonna have a little bit of delay there, but that's okay. Once we log in here, we'll be able to see that we'll probably be running at over 100 FPS without any issues, and yes, we are. Up here in the top, we can see 325, and then the low number is nearing 100, around 83 or so, 80s. 
ish, which is really, really good. But that top number is what we're looking at at over 400. So yeah, there you go. That is how you can set it up. That is how you can run Optifine. We're actually not dropping below under 100 there. Now we go ahead and this is the real test, right? And click start recording and record with Minecraft. Let's see what that does. Now you have to remember, for me, I'm also recording again with XSplit. So you can watch this video and see me recording over here. You can see the recording is started. It is ticking down and our FPS has only dropped on average about 50, I would say. Not too shabby. And even with this moving around here, only a 100 FPS drop, actually even less if we've already loaded an area. So overall, really, really good setup. Let's just go ahead and do a teleport real quick. We'll just go to my home real quick on the server here and see if that drops our FPS at all. And it actually increased it. I don't think there's any denying the fact that a little bit of lag there. And that was the server lag I was talking about, right? You're going to occasionally run into that as the server sending you all this data after you've teleported. But you can see up in the top left, our FPS did not fluctuate. And if we run a lag check on the server, we'll be able to see if the server is running absolutely incredible as well. But nevertheless, this is play.breakdowncraft.com, the best server. This is my base on it. But this is the best survival server in the multiverse. Come play on it. 58 people online currently. Absolutely awesome, and I can't wait to see you online. Enjoy recording. We'd love to see a Let's Play on our Minecraft server recorded because of this video. If you do that, please post it on our Discord, which is linked in the description down below. Anyway, guys, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Enjoy recording Minecraft 100% lag-free using OBS. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section down below. Come play with us here on play.breakdowncraft.com. Again, my name is Nick. I do very long outros, and I'm out. Peace.